What's up everyone? Today we are playing a table called FJ. Now this table was produced by an Australian pinball company called A. Hankin and Company, which lasted from about 1978 to 1981. Um, so this was probably one of their first tables that they released, uh, as it's from 1978. So some of you are probably wondering, well what does FJ even mean? And according to IPDB, FJ was the model of a car made in the 1950s by uh, an auto automobile manufacturer called Holden. And in the 60s and 70s in Australia, it was considered, uh, you know, one of the flashier youth cars. So it was almost like the 1957 Chevy or the 1932 Ford Coupe uh, was in the United States. I am not familiar with those cars, so I don't know, but maybe some of you are. But one interesting thing I found out is that Holden is now a division of General Motors. So that was pretty cool. Another thing that you'll, you'll notice on the backlash is the positioning of the driver. So the driver uh, is on the steering wheels on the right side of the, of the car, and that is, the, um, is how they drive in Australia. The, uh, they abide by left-hand traffic laws, um, which means that the steering wheels and vehicles will be on the right side. So here in the States, it's the opposite. Steering wheels are on the left side. Um, so I found that pretty interesting when you look at the artwork and you notice that. Um, so keep that in mind. It's different in different countries. I know it's different in Europe, right? Um, but looking at this table, if you've ever played Bally's Hot Doggin from 1980, the colors kind of look a lot like it. So I'm wondering if Bally's Hot Doggin got some of its um, inspiration from this table. But let's go here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, right. You have, um, don't forget, you guys also have these different... Uh, custom lighting options here. I'm gonna keep it at this though, and let's have a go. Okay, so. Oh, whoa! Check this out! Well, this is actually. I know I've encountered this before, but having a saucer, there's actually two of them on the out lanes, really kind of protects the ball from draining. Like, I just didn't even see that, and I thought the ball was going to drain. And lo and behold, it got caught by a saucer. Wow, okay. See, no saucer there, it would have drained. It would have drained again, but the saucer kept it in play. And I know I've encountered tables like that before with saucers in that same position. I just can't remember the name of the table. Also notice you got double rollover lane, double spinner lanes, I should say. See, it would have drained again, but that saucer is so is so important there for saving the ball. Really like that. See, it would have drained again, I'm pretty sure. So it just shows you that's awesome. A little spot target there. Ooh, but it the ball looks like it went over the saucer, so it can still it can still drain uh, if the the ball goes over the saucer fast enough. But I really like that.
Oh. I like that spinner sound as well. Oh man! Sounds like a car's engines. <laughs> Looks like a hundred of rotation. Whoa, whoa. Oh, man. Well, guys, I'm going to keep it here. Thank you for watching play FJ from Hankin, um, a company, a pinball company in Australia. This is a version from, um, from HM Weck on uh, VP Forums. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. But uh, yeah, this has VR as well. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Take care.